Hey everybody, this is that German guy Josh Runquist. I'm here with David from Havoc who is about to be headlining here at the garage in Burnsville, Minnesota. How's it going? It's going very well. Uh, how has the tour been so far? It's been good. Turnouts have been uh, pretty decent and crowds for the most part have been really rowdy. We've uh, got about one month down and one to go. Ah, uh, very cool. Yeah, I was so happy to see that this uh, tour was coming here since uh, one of our beloved venues, Station 4, has closed down. Oh, so really? I, yeah, so I wasn't even sure if this tour was going to be happening or not, but then I heard that the garage in Burnsville here picked it up, so I was so happy to be able to see you guys. Sweet. Yeah, I'm glad that uh, we were still able to make it. Oh, very much so. We like playing here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Although I think it's the first time playing at a youth center in Minnesota. <laughs> Actually, we played at a youth center in St. Paul once. Oh, really? Uh, when we were on tour with Wretched, like, three years ago. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Uh, so, uh, how has the reception been for the new album been so far? Uh, it's been good. Uh, people seem to dig it. And uh, when we play the stuff live, people mm -hmm. seem to get into it. So, I'd say, so far, so good. Oh, very cool. I absolutely love the new album. Thanks, So, man. very cool. And it's so cool to hear you guys covering Sabbath as well. Yeah, that song was chosen because it's heavy and the lyrics fit right in with the lyrics on the whole rest of the album. The lyrics hold just as true today as they did when they were written. Oh, absolutely. Couldn't agree more. Uh, so how did the writing process go into Natural Selection? Um, <clears throat> it was pretty quick. We had about three or four months in between tours and um, we wrote the entire album and recorded the whole thing that time. Oh, very cool. Yeah. I mean, we had some stuff, uh, like the music for Under the Gun was pretty much done since... That was like a song that got written, finished up right around when Time Is Up was getting done, so mm -hmm. we've been sitting on that one and a few other riffs for a while, but uh, as far as, you know, getting songs 100% done, they all came to fruition within the matter of a few months. Oh, very cool to hear. Yeah. Uh, so, with that said, has there been any more leftover riffs uh, from this writing process that might come up in the future? Definitely. We got a... The next one's gonna be good. We got some aces up our sleeve. Oh, very nice. Yeah. A any more potential covers? Um, yeah, of course. I'm not ever gonna decline to record covers when we've got them ready and all we have to do is hit record. Uh, I think every time we record an album we'll probably end up recording one or two cover songs so that eventually after many years we've got enough to re release an album uh, full for, of covers. Oh that would be really cool to hear. Yeah. Uh, so what are your plans after this current tour? Uh, Nothing that I can divulge yet, but we'll definitely be hitting the road again in October. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Uh, so, um, after those current plans in October, is there, like, a, any potential of, like, a getting back in the studio and working on that stuff yet? Um, or? no. Okay. It's too early. Too early? But, uh, I would guess, if I had to guess, I'd say we'll do the U.S. and Europe and then call it a year. And then pick back up in the spring. Oh, very in support cool. of the new album. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Uh, assu assuming the next plans that you have for touring in October is not another headlining tour, who would you like to bring out with you on your next headlining tour? Um, there's a lot of cool bands that I would love to bring out with us. Um, I recently started listening to this band called Power Trip from Austin. Oh yeah. They're fucking badass. They really are. They've got just tough ass riffs the whole time. And I love that. But uh, I think it'd be cool to tour with Power Trip, um, Speedwolf from Denver. Oh, yes. Uh, there's a really rad band called Psychosomatic from Sacramento. Mm -hmm. uh, the list goes on and on. I'd love to tour again with Revocation or Vector or Witch Haven. There's plenty of cool bands out there. Oh, very much so. Yeah. Uh, so with that said, I mean, with uh, the bands that you just uh, said that you discovered, what else are you currently listening to? Um, yeah, as far as new stuff, Power Trip is probably it. Uh, we played with this band called Legion from Houston, Texas on this tour, and they're really rad. Been listening to that a little bit. And 
know, this week I've listened to a lot of classical music. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Anything in particular with the classical stuff? Um, today I was listening to Beethoven and Richard Wagner. Ah, oh, Wagner, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so very cool. Uh, so, uh, considering this is not the last day of the tour, anyone who's listening to this right now, what would you expect to tell them from this tour? Um, I would hope to send everyone home with a sore neck and a lost voice. And if you come out to a show, expect to hear about half of the Time is Up record, half of the new one, and some other stuff. Very cool. Uh, are you guys still stocked with the No Pit Ninjas merchandise? Absolutely. No yeah. Karate in the Pit is has like become our unofficial motto. People associate that phrase with us all the time, which is fine because I mean, I coined it, so <laughs> it's it exists with good reason too. Oh, absolutely! I couldn't support that idea more. Yeah, nobody wants to be rocking out at a show and take a roundhouse kick to the face. One of the very first metal shows I've ever been to. That's exactly what happened. I got knocked out. Yeah, dude, that's just not from standing there, just head banging, cool. and then getting knocked right in the back of the head. Circle pits are fun. Everyone runs around and shoves each other around a little bit. And someone falls down, you pick them back up. This, this fucking meathead asshole trend of flailing your arms and legs around like a moron and doing literally roundhouse kicks. And throwing punches randomly in the air is a fad, and it's a really fucking stupid fad that needs to die. Absolutely. Yes, it's not fun. You're the only guy having fun when you're doing that. You hear me? You fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though. Nobody likes that. Nobody likes that guy that's punching and kicking people. And they usually get their ass kicked later because of it. Yeah, and you. I could only hope so. Yeah. Well, I've seen it plenty of times. Of course, yeah. If you're going in there with the with the uh, plan of being destructive and wanting to physically harm people, then good riddance when you get your fucking ass kicked, dude. Oh, so very much so. I mean, when I go to a show, I want to be there. I want to be in the pit. I want to headbang and enjoy what I'm listening to, not having to worry about getting knocked out. Yes, exactly. No karate in the pit. The shirt exists for a very good reason. <laughs> yes. And I gotta stock up on that when I get inside and get the table. Yeah, everyone needs to. Absolutely. I, <laughs> and again, I cannot support that idea more. Of course. <laughs> uh, so, uh, just to wrap things up here, is there anything else that you'd like to bring up that I've not brought up yet? Um, uh, I would just like to tell people to go buy the new record if you haven't. Or even if you're not gonna go buy it, just go download it and listen to it and show your friends and show up to a show I'd like to thank anybody that's ever come to a show or bought a CD or a shirt or told your friends about us because without you people we would not exist and support music and think for yourself oh, damn right <laughs> oh once again uh, uh, thank you for taking the time to do this interview I cannot wait to see you guys kicking some ass here at the garage tonight right on dude thanks for having me oh not a problem uh, once again this has been David from Havoc and this is that German guy Josh Ronquist thank you